Pertamanya, NFT sudah lagi tidak beroperasi and financially, as far as um, accounting financially is concerned, it's no longer a going concern. NFT is not a going concern anymore. When it is not ongoing concern, it will go into administratorship. Maknanya, NFC adalah uh, dikira tidak lagi berupaya untuk beroperasi atau menanggung hutangnya dan secara lazimnya ia akan melalui proses kebankrapan selepas ini. Yang kedua, sebahagian daripada dana itu telah digunakan untuk menanggung perbelanjaan bukan aset. The OPEX has been quite high for the last six years, you know, the salary. That's why we make a lot of fuss for the salaries. Because the salaries of the whole family alone is for at least 200,000 a month. Jadi kalau lima tahun, salary is pretty clear to be here lah. 200,000 a month, 2.4 million a year. It's about 10 million. Only on the salary of pengarah-pengarah. Dan juga dari segi perbelanjaan luar negara, allow perjalanan, advertising dan operasi di gemas. Kesemua perbelanjaan ini, oper, uh, oper, operational expenditure, tidak boleh didapatkan balik, tidak boleh dikutip balik oleh kerajaan kerana ini adalah kerugian syarikat. These are uh, energy operating losses. They have been operating on, on. They have been not making throughout, and therefore it's just a, a normal process when they go. If they were to file for bankruptcy, none of it would be recoverable. And worse still, yang paling teruk ialah kerajaan tidak mengenakan jaminan peribadi. There was never a personal guarantee on the directors of NFC. No, what it never like to Datuk Sri Syarizat Jalil menyebabkan tanggungjawab mereka kepada hutang-hutang ini hanyalah terbatas kepada pegangan saham mereka di dalam syarikat itu which I think was about 2 million ringgit so basically they only exposure was 2 million ringgit now how else can we take the money apabila sekarang tidak ada personal guarantee dan uh, dan uh, aset itu pun dipisahkan daripada liability because they NFC's assets is mostly the farm in Gemas. Hanya farm yang digemas. Farm itu sekarang akan dihidupkan kepada operator baru. Itu sebagian perjanjian dari pengen operator baru. Dia dapat farm. Tapi dia hanya dapat farm tetapi tidak menanggung hutang. Dan kalau dia dapat farm, kecualilah dia membayar sejumlah wang yang baik kepada kerajaan. Maknanya kerajaan tidak dapat farm. My assumption is that there would not be a cash consideration for the farm in the mass because otherwise, why would a new operator come on board and salvage the project? If I were to pay cent by cent for the asset, might as well I buy land and start from scratch. A new operator would only want to come in because they have access to the assets for a very good price and most probably it's part of the deal with them. Jadi you pisahkan, you strip all the assets daripada NFC, you give it to the new operator, leaving when NFC goes for uh, bankruptcy filing, that means that there's nothing much left in NFC yang menyebabkan bahawa most probably the 163 million that could have been recovered would have been lost just like that. Jadi uh, saya setakat ini uh, berdasarkan kepada Kenyataan-kenyataan yang dibuat, saya yakin bahawa uh, kita boleh terima uh, keseluruhan jumlah wang berbaki 163 juta itu can be considered as, as good as lost and burned. Ya, uh, uh, dalam bahasa saya, saya bagikan isu ini dan saya menunggu jawatan uh, jawapan dari Dua perkara yang saya bagikan adalah bagaimana untuk cover balik wang yang tadi kita sebut itu. Dan yang keduanya, apakah perancangan untuk meneruskan uh, projek uh, National Pilot ini? What is their plan of action uh, to continue? We have not heard of that. So, kita menunggu uh, jawapan itu dalam uh, sesi jawapan yang berikutnya. The moment you award the project to a new operator, presumably the operator will take charge of the assets in the market.
That means you will asset split um, uh, NFC. That means that whatever asset that is within NFC, which if I can recall, is about 40 million ringgit. The whole asset, the netbook value of the assets in the month is about 40 million ringgit. That would have been split completely from NFC and given to the new operator, leaving NFC with the shell company with losses. So that's why from last year I've been pressing that government must apply a personal guarantee on NFC directors in order to switch their So that when it comes to this point, they cannot run away dan dia perlu bayar setiap satu sen yang telah dibelanjakan. Kalau macam itu pun saya nak buat company, saya buka company RM200. Dapat RM200 juta, saya pergi transfer semua buat semua happy, 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 happy bila dah lain. Like, I'm only liable to that RM200,000 tau so yang saya letak. I have to go after. <laughs> It's more than bail out. It's a very good price. I don't mind being in that shoes. Yeah. You see, I, I think kalau bail out, uh, there is a, a concept of bail out that sometimes government has to undertake because you want to save jobs, you want to save uh, some strategic importance of a business. In this case, there's not. What happens is that yeah, it never took on the ground. Some people got really rich and enjoyed good life for the last four years. And the rest is... Yeah. So it's not even it's not even a bailout. I don't even it's worse than bailout.